A crime alert tonight. Hot Springs police warning about a scammer impersonating one of their fallen brothers. Officer Brent Scrimshire, you see him right here. He was killed in the line of duty about a month ago. Now, Hot Springs police say they are, they have gotten multiple reports of someone using his name to get money for outstanding warrants. Our own Claire Kreitz spoke with police and tells us how this is something they have never seen before. Police know just about every scam in the book. You name it, they've heard it. But impersonating fallen officer Brent Scrimshire so soon after his death is something they could never prepare for. It makes you sick to your stomach. It, it really does. After two decades of wearing the badge for the Hot Springs Police Department, Corporal Joey Williams tells me over FaceTime he thought he had seen it all. You think someone hits a low, and you're like, well, that's about as low as somebody can go. You know, they take it to another level. But a scammer has just about everyone at the department reeling. To use his name in vain like that is, it's a, it's despicable. HSP recently took multiple reports about someone impersonating Officer Brent Scrimshire, who was killed in the line of duty about a month ago. His car still sitting on the back lot, and, and it's, it's very fresh, and it will be fresh for a long time. According to police, they are using the department's number, asking about outstanding warrants and fines. They need to be paid, or they're going to be taken to jail. Williams says it's one thing to scam people, and even do it while hiding behind the uniform. But it's who they're impersonating. The nose somebody goes there and, and uses his name to intimidate and threaten people. That hit so close to home. And so opposite of what of who Brent was. The scammer is hurting more than just the department. Unfortunately, we had to reach out to Brent's widow. His family is still trying to process his death. It's bad enough that she's hurt and that they have to do something like this to her, I think. So, yeah, it, it's, it's bad. While Williams says they are working to catch the person on the other end of the line, he does have some words he hopes they hear. When you sleep at night, you need to think about whose name you're using and what damage that does to his family and his coworkers, and uh, that's being professional. William says the best way to beat someone like this is to get the information out there. He wants to make sure everyone knows police will not contact you to ask for money. He also says if you get a call like this or have any questions, to contact Hot Springs PD.